current predictions have the Islamic Taliban defeating the United States. Why? Two guys, two objectives. In one corner you have Osama bin Laden, hero to the Muslim world. In the other corner you have Barack Obama, an encouragement to the Muslim world. This guy wants Islam to conquer the world. This guy announced Islam is not the enemy. This guy wants to gain nuclear weapons. This guy wants to deplete America's nuclear weapons. This guy rewards those that help advance Islam. This guy has already taken actions to prosecute those that help America, even exposing and punishing America's intelligence agents. This guy puts Islam first, unconditionally. This guy puts America first only with conditions. But it does not violate human rights, treaties, the Geneva Convention, environmental concerns, and other international laws. This guy will torture, maim, and kill the enemy to advance Islam. Yet this guy will protect, nourish, hand out Korans, and give rights reserved for Americans to the enemy and extends to Muslims special protections. This guy knows terrorists, when they are caught in America, are all connected with the common goal of advancing Islam and destroying America. This guy will lie to the American people when terrorists are caught in America and claim there are no connections between them and Islam. This guy doesn't give a rat's ass about offending anyone when it comes to advancing Islam. This guy's policies and actions are governed by whether he will offend someone. This guy focuses on Islamic rule and kills Christians and has the attention of over one and a half billion Muslim followers around the world that will help him overtly or covertly. This godless guy publicly announced that America is no longer a Christian nation and has already practiced Islamic rituals with Islamic leaders within the White House. This guy is in it for life. It's not a career step. He has the focus of advancing an entire religious domain. This guy is just a temporary government employee with a focus of advancing his personal liberal ideologies, agenda, and future book sales. So you see, who do you think is committed to achieving their goals without reservations?